got great conversations carrying on right throughout the show right now. But let's change things up a little bit, right? Let's talk about the beauty of our country. And amidst the sweeping South African savannah, where endless grasslands meet the sky, nature's colorful canvas unveils a tapestry of life. Yeah, and Ryle embarked on a captivating <laughs> journey to Aquila, private game reserve where the rhythm of the wild and the heartbeat of the savannah left a lasting impression. It really did, bro. Take a look at this. <laughs> It's you. <laughs> hey there. Listen, exploring the savannah is like diving into a real life storybook. And the characters include majestic lions, graceful giraffes, and cheeky meerkats. That's kind of like nature's own cast of characters in this vivid, captivating real life tale. Question is, are you gonna come along? Let's go. I'm here at Aquila Private Game Reserve today where I'm not just only soaking in the stunning savannah hues, but embarking on a thrilling journey of discovery. Diving deep into the colorful lives of these incredible animals that call this vast canvas of nature their home. I'm really excited to be out here. I've never been to Aquila's game farm and this reserve, so dying to find out more. And let's dive straight into it. Firstly, the inception of this place, the vision behind it. What was the reason for starting this game reserve? So this game reserve is now 22 years old. The owner started the vision to get, you know, Big Five close to Cape Town, where normally people from Cape Town have to travel to Kruger National Park. And also to give something for, for people and their families to come and enjoy and they learn from and educate from. And also for the community, which is the other important role. What are the challenges that you're going through currently trying to maintain not only the landscape, but also making sure that these animals have a home that they can thrive in? So basically in an ecosystem, it looks after itself. You know, it's not just that five animals we look at. It's, it's many other animals that are part of this whole ecosystem. So we just manage it that it's in controlled area. So the biggest worry that we've got is poaching, it's rhinos. We need to protect these animals, so it's a lot of costs going involved to protect these animals 24 seven. How else are you guys educating those around you? So we've got a really great program for kids, education, but let me go and show you. Sounds and, good. Okay. The Aquila Junior Ranger program caters for kids between the ages of 4 and 12 years old, sparking their interest when it comes to wildlife and nature. Now this is led by skilled guides and it's a hands-on adventure through the Karoo Wilderness, creating future conservation champions. Yeah, it's all about, you know, one system feeding another system. Yeah. So it's, you know, the, the earthworms, they defecate and that we use that poop then to feed the fish and then also the waste that they come from there feeds the compost into the system for the vegetables. So it's a whole system that flows and at the end of the day, all of that pushes back into the, the lodge where the guests enjoy fresh produce. The one system feeding another system. The real concept is to bring kids back here and root them into what is important, you know, the dung beetles, the birds, the symbiosis of the ecosystem work together. We need to protect that, and if we protect that, that's a domino effect that leads down for many other species to thrive, including ourselves. Hey, everybody. Are you ready to go on a game drive? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. When I think about Plascon's Savannah Spring Palette, I can't help but see how much it resonates with the landscape right now. I mean, the vibrant greens, those earthy tones, it literally is around me. It reminds me of nature, it reminds me of freedom, it reminds me of that sort of great abyss that we all get to enjoy and thrive in, and oh, it's giving me the feels of adventure. Now, a white rhino's got a flat lip, and a black rhino's got a triangular lip. So the white rhinos are the grazers, they eat the grass, and then the black rhinos eat the trees, the, the branches of the trees, so they're browsers. And they got a triangular lip to pull the branches off. I think wildlife conservation is so important because right now we're living in a world that is going so against the grain, against everything that wildlife stands for. Us as human beings are constantly taking up their animals' space, the animals' food, their way of living, and the environment, and we have such a negative impact on them. I think it's so important to understand that if we don't do something now, 
our future generation, our kids will not even be able to experience what we do right now. And that in itself is such a tragedy that we have to do something about making that never ever happen. So an elephant weighs about six tons. So the whole blood circulation goes through their ears and that's why they flap it to cool them down. Now, apart from the Junior Ranger program, what other activities do you have here for the kids? So we've got a very cool place, it's called the Kids Zone, so kids can go there, they can play chess, they can play putt-putt, there's activities where they can go play PlayStation, and, and there's a caretaker, a woman that looks after the kids, and there they can go and chill out at the Kids Zone and have fun there. What was the best part about being a junior ranger today and did you have any favourite animals that you saw? The elephants and the ostriches. Riley, I have to ask you, I've noticed all this paint on your body. What exactly are you supposed to be? I'm a man to be a zebra. Oh, is that because it's your favourite? Um, I love all animals but I really love seeing the zebra. So gentlemen, we also had a busy day, right? Tell me, your junior ranger programme, what did you learn and why do you think it's so important to adopt the lessons? Um, I think it's important because um, like one day when we grow up we can protect like the animals so they don't go ex extinct. Just to make sure like the future generation is able to see the animals that we're seeing now. I think the best part of my day was seeing the lions. I, I really like the lions and the rhinos too. Thank you and yes to protecting the environment, our beautiful animals and the future generations that can enjoy it just like we did, right? Yeah, give it in, yeah. Let's go teamwork on three. One, two, three, go team! Yeah. <laughs>